my, I'm so inspired by the kit I've put together. You know, I've got working straight away with it. So I've covered some marshmallow um, cardstock with gesso, the clear one, and I'm going to use some distress oxides. And as you can see, I'm very, very quickly showing you the colours, but I actually use more colours than this by the end of it because I needed a couple more for the papers. So I'm going to use the cloud paper. I'm really into tearing paper at the moment. I don't know whether that's sort of whether I need therapy for it, but um, I just love the text that it gives at the top. And then I want some of the rainbow paper coming out from underneath it. And then I'm imagining as if the rainbow is dripping down the page. It's quite poetic, isn't it? So I'm then going to try and match up the stripes with my Distress Oxide. I'm using my silicone mat here. I'm just adding a little bit of water to it. I'm trying not to get it all over my page because for some reason I have it on that side and when I work on the other side. So it looks really, really awkward. So I'm just adding, as I say, water. And because of the fact that I've got gesso on the paper, I can then add um, lots of water. And it's, it does warp slightly, but it also means that I can dab off any ink that I don't like where it is. So I'm just, that was the Dusty Concord. I think I'm going to use smoked hickory next, or hickory smoke, one way or the other. Hickory smoke, I can see it now. <laughs> and I'm just using a paintbrush. I forgot to fill my cup with water. So that's why I'm just using a wet wipe. Um, then I decide, why don't I just put it the other side? It would make it so much easier. And it was, it was much easier. Then... I go off in a second. I don't wait, watch and make you watch all of this. I decided to use my water brush because it controls the water better. So here I am now. And as if by magic, that's it finished. Because in the meantime, I also go and find more distress oxides. So I used old paper, abandoned coral. It was quite hard to get the dark pink, festive berries. I think there was another one as well. I think I used weathered wood as well. I don't think I showed you the picture. Here I am looking really dangerous trying to just distress this, but because the paper was so thin, it tore it rather than distressed it. So a word of warning, sometimes a scissors blade is not the best thing to do if your paper's really thin. Sometimes you can do it better with your fingertips. So I must be honest, when I look back, because when I was first doing it, I was thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this, but I really like how those colours look dripping down the page. And because of it, the fact it's on the gesso, it dried really, really quickly. I just sort of dabbed up any um, excess. So there's my layers there. And as you can see, I'm trying to get the glue off my hands now. The sad thing is my photo is quite big, so it does actually sort of cover up some of it. But luckily enough, they were mainly the colours that I found more difficult to match. So in a way, I did myself a favour. I'm now trying to find some paper to mat my photo on, and I've gone with a pink. I think perhaps for this kit, I might need to bring in some more solid colours, because I haven't got that many. I'm str I struggle to cut straight with the scissors, so I always use my trimmer. If you can hear snoring in the background, <laughs> um, it's the dog. She's decided that she needs to come and sit with me, and she's just dropped off to sleep. So, I'm using this sort of stencil bit here because I thought at least you can still see the colours through it. Just to give it an extra layer there. And then, um, I'm then going to add a tag then. Because I don't like the cut corners that don't go up to the top. So I'm going to use one of these tags. That's the good thing about these cut apart sheets. They give you a bit of ephemera then with it. But as I say, because they are quite thin... They're quite difficult to use as a standalone um, embellishment. They're easier to, to mat your photos with because they are, as I say, very thin paper rather than um, if you bought a die kit, it's quite thick card, isn't it? So I'm using a half inch circle punch, which is slightly too big in the end, but hey ho. And then I wanted to keep that heart showing. And I'm thinking, oh, there's one on the other end. And I think, put your glasses on, Nicola. It's so much easier to see. I call myself Nicola when I'm annoyed. It's usually Nicky. But you can see that I was annoyed with myself then. So I'm just going to put the tag 
either side there. I'm going to cover up those corners I don't like. I'm using glue throughout. I usually use double sided tape but because there's gesso on the paper my double sided tape finds it really difficult. So there, there I am. I'm using my strong arms now to try to get it to stay down but it did take a little bit of time to dry. So I'm just putting that either side then as if it's a really big tag behind it. A great way to sort of stretch your supplies there. And I really think that the, the um, Distress Oxides, they look really effective. So I've just quick, very quickly as you can see, cut all the words out of that tag and I'm trying to put them on the stripes of colour. Trying to sort of do a bit of colour matching there. I'm going to start going through my embellishments now to see what I've got. I didn't really want to put flowers on it because I don't think it's a flowery sort of page. So I'm going to stick to, um, and I found those ephemera pieces quite big so I didn't use those either. I'm going to stick mainly to enamel dots, these little puffy stickers. I found this then because it says you fill the wood. You are made of magic. That's right. I'm trying to see it then. You are made of magic. So I thought that was lovely because this is a photo of my late mum and my nephew. And my nephew lost his mum, my sister, when he was two. So he was incredibly close to my parents. Incredibly close to my mum. Incredibly close to me, thank goodness. We, you know, we've got each other to, to lean on. And I'm just going to use all these little tiny bits then to fill in some of the lines. As I say, I didn't manage to get a pretzel on. I should challenge myself to use that pretzel up, shouldn't I? By actually perhaps eating chocolate covered pretzels, I can go for those. So I'm just going to colour match now some of my embellishments. I'm still thinking, hmm, anything else I can use. But sometimes. Because I think I've done quite a bit of mixed media, I think sometimes less embellishments are absolutely fine. I'm just raising all of these little pieces up now on foam pads just to give it a bit of extra dimension. And I think this is one of the pages I've done recently that's come together the quickest. Sometimes when I've got too much stuff to play with, it takes me longer trying to match things up. When you limit yourself to a smaller supply, I think sometimes you're a bit more inspired. So here I am now, just as I say, adding them to the colours of the rainbow. So I've got like a little bit of a cluster on the left hand side. Foam pads are just so Fiddly. And then I'm determined to use a sticker which says 24 7 365 memories. Now, this is a big fat fail. This uh, rub on, I wanted to use family. I could not get it to rub off properly. And I think that's because of the gesso underneath. I don't think there's anything wrong with the rub ons because I've used them recently and they've been absolutely fine. I think it's mainly to do with the gesso. So as I pull it off then I sort of break the letters. So um, I then got to try and find something to cover it up with. So here we go, I'm going to go through my little pile of embellishments and I got a little phrase sticker that says, they were my exasperated hands there, what shall I use? The good stuff. And I thought that went well with the theme of the page and I must say I really enjoyed using this dash kit. I obviously this is the first page so I've got lots to work with at the moment so let's see how it goes but hopefully I'll be back with you soon with another layout from my rainbow stash kit. Thanks for joining me. Hoi